Hi. There are four stages of an artist's proficiency. Fast and bad. Long and bad. Long and good. Fast and good. And to get quicker to this fourth stage, I will talk about Total Commander and why you should use it in your production. Total Commander is a two-panel file manager that speed up your workflow with files drastically. And I will tell you main reasons why I'm using it and why you should use it too. At first I started using it long time ago, when Windows XP was the most popular operation system. And, uh, and that time there was little options when you copy files from one directory to another. Uh, like in Windows XP you could only override or skip uh, one file and uh, Total Commander gave you a lot of options. You can override older, you can rename, you can append for text files, you can override smaller, larger, you have much more options. Especially it was very useful when you copied a lot of files like that. In this case, you could skip one, you could skip all, and uh, all that options Windows XP didn't have. So that was the main reason I started using it. Even now, Windows 10 gives you less options than 10 years old Total Commander when you try to copy, move, or replace files, especially if it 500 files or thousands of files. The way Total Commander does it is way more convenient. Like, for example, this let me decide for each. Will you decide for 500 files what to do with these checkboxes? It's, it's silly. QuickView is a tool that helps you find out more about files. You select file and press Ctrl Q. This way you can find out about file. And walk works with audio, with GIF, with HTML, you can know that it's actually a text file, because when you open it in a browser, it will open like web document, also unknown extension, you can preview and you know, oh, that's text file too, uh, or this file, you, you don't see any readable signs that you know, oh, it's binary file quick preview text files so you can know what exactly in that text file without need to open it so th this is a really convenient way to preview files drag and drop you can drag file on a program that you have added to this programs bar like that and this program will open the file that you have dropped on it it works with audio with images like that and also one really cool feature that I like uh, I have nano host which is VST container and I can drag and drop VST file on that container and it will open it without any DAW, so if I want to check out some VST, also I can config my MIDI settings, choose MIDI keyboard. So it's so quick to play a VST without need to open any of DAW. Multiple renaming, let's say I will select all these files and press Ctrl M this tool will pop up and it have a lot of options for example you can search for underscore and replace it with two underscores or delete any also you can insert counter extra counter like that and also you can use two digits and step by two and start at nine you can remove name 
and uh, one of my favorite functions is range when you rename uh, when you delete and sign and select range and then you select a part of the name so total commander will leave uh, signs from 3 to 10 like this and you can cut off t and underscore also it have date time a lot of options you can modify extension uh, like that and also you can replace date with so a lot of options are really convenient thing as you can see I have this row of programs here and what I really like that they are always at the same place unlike in start menu like you always need to search for something with your eyes you almost always know where is program that you need and uh, it's really convenient to go to the folder of that program and you can drag and drop programs on this bar to add your favorite programs you can copy paste like that for example copy paste and also by default uh, total commander has extra bar with tools like search notepad mirror browsing copy files copy file names to clipboard copy full path and like thumbnail view let me quick show you what is thumbnail view if you enter some folder with pictures you can press this and Total Commander will show you thumbnails. Also, different ways of displaying stuff. TC has very powerful search tools. First of all, it has quick search that helps you filter out some results. Also, if you press Alt F7, uh, the advanced search tool will pop up here you can have regular expressions option you can limit the depth of search you can find text in text files also you have advanced plugin tab for example if you want to search for a file that have a fix in its name and uh, extension is wave start search it will show you all files in this folder you can stop search this is my folder with samples you can feed to list box all files from different places and you can quick view <laughs> and then you can drag and drop into your doll list all files let's say you have few folders with different files you can press Ctrl B and Total Commander will show you all files in one place. And here you can sort files by extension, by size, by date. Also you can calculate how much space does every folder take and uh, sort by this data. Backing up files. I lost two HDDs with hundreds of hours of work and it's a very sensitive question for me with the help of Total Commander backing up stuff became very easy it has synchronize tiers option and uh, on the left side I have my main folder where my data is and uh, on the right side I have a backup folder I run this synchronize tiers tool and press compare Total Commander showed that these files will be copied to the right. But why would you need this tool to make backups if you could just select all and move somewhere? That's easy, but let's say you then decided to delete some files from the left side. How would you track what have been deleted on the right side especially when there are 
not 12 files, but 1000 files. For example, a lot of photos or pictures or samples. In this case, this tool is really convenient. When you press compare, it will show if this button is turned on. It will show that these files on the right are absent on the left. And if this option asymmetric turned on, you click synchronize and then Total Commander will delete files on the right side. So it's like pushing files from left to right and that's really convenient. You just select necessary folder, backup it and you don't worry if everything is the same as in your main directory. Another thing that I have set up in Total Commander is easy download from YouTube. For example, I want to download the sonar sound effect. I will copy the URL and in Total Commander if you press control down there is a command line built in the program so from here I can call different commands. I have set up YouTube DL into my path directory. I will enter YouTube DL then paste the YouTube URL, press enter, and now YouTube DL is downloading the video for me. It finished the download and let's check. Okay, then I will convert it also with the help of this built-in command line. Now I'm using FFmpeg. I have a file and now I can drag and drop it into Audacity and uh, cut piece of sound that I want and export it. Also if you want to share something with your friend, some file names, for example you have a list of files or music, you can set up Total Commander to copy file name to clipboard like that and uh, yeah you have it in a clipboard also you can copy full path like that and paste so you can send it somewhere why would you do that sometimes i back up files not as actual files but as list of directories because when you download something from the internet you don't make backups you just want to know what you have downloaded and then you can download it again Last thing I wanted to show you is mirror navigation. When you, for example, switch on this option, here I have my backup folder and here I have my main folder, I can navigate both of them at the same time. So I can check something. I, I think this is pretty useful, but I cannot make some good example at the moment but this feature is available. And the very last thing that I wanted to show you is feature of this application bar. You can add some parameters to a program that you run. For example, I want to start Thunderbeard with Profile Manager. So I add P here, and when I start it from my application bar, it will automatically start the program with parameter so I can use my profile. The same works with another applications. For example, this icon will open Notepad with the parameter as some file that I want to open in Notepad. Like I click it and it instantly opens file for me. All right, I think this is all that I wanted to tell you about Total Commander. This is paid software, but if you click these buttons at the start, you can use it and there is no any limitations when, once you have extra money to pay for it. Just buy it, it's really worth it. That's it. Thanks for attention and see you next time.